Hi friends, in this video we see about the topic Rutherford atom model. So Rutherford Alpha's particle scattering experiment. Rutherford and his associates studied the scattering of the alpha particle by a thin cold foil in order to investigate the structure of the atom. Okay. So the, the Rutherford uh, investigate the structure of the atom using a alpha particle okay, uh, uh, and using a thin cold foil. Okay. So an uh, alpha particle is a um, then now we see what is alpha particle. So alpha particle is a positively charged particle having a mass equal to that of helium atom. Okay. So helium atom that is H, uh, HE. Okay. The helium atom um, is called the alpha particle. Okay. So the alpha particle is a positively charged particle having a mass equal to that of helium atom and a positive charge in magnitude equal to twice the charge of the electron. Okay. So the positive charge is equal to the twice the charge of electron of uh, helium atom. Okay. So this uh, alpha particles are emitted by many radioactive elements. Okay. The scattering of alpha particle provide useful information about the structure of the atom. Okay. So the scattering of alpha particles. Scattering means it spread in uh, all direction. Okay. So the uh, scattering of alpha particles gives us a um, lot of information about the structure of atom. Okay. Now we see the experimental arrangement of alpha scattering. Rutherford alpha scattering. Okay. Here the thin a fine pencil of alpha particle was obtained from a radioactive a material like radium or radon by placing it in a lead box with narrow openings. That means here the uh, this is the uh, source of alpha particles. Okay, so uh, from this uh, it may be radon or um, radium. Okay. So, this uh, radioactive material emit the alpha particle. Okay. Uh, this um, source of alpha particle is kept in a lead box. Okay. Um, then, the alpha particles are emitted from the source, uh, source in all possible direction from the lead box. The remaining alpha particles are absorbed in the lead box itself okay so after passing through the uh, diagraph now the alpha particles uh, is emitted okay so the alpha particles uh, passing through the diagraph t1 and d2 a narrow beam of alpha particle incident on a cold foil okay so alpha particle is incident on a cold foil or then um, the alpha particle incident on your cold foil and scattering through all direction. Okay, so uh, the the alpha particles are scattered out through different angles. The scattered alpha particle strike the fluorescent screen. Okay, this is known as the fluorescent screen. This fluorescent screen is coated with uh, zinc sulfide. Okay. So, zinc sulfide, when the alpha particle strike the screen, the tiny flashes of light are produced. Okay. The scattering alpha particles is incident on the fluorescent screen. This fluorescent screen is made up of zinc sulfide. Okay. When the alpha particle is incident on the fluorescent screen, a tiny flash of light is appeared. Okay. So, this uh, the observation can be made with the help of a low power microscope. Okay. This is the experimental arrangement of Rutherford alpha scattering. Okay. Now Rutherford, uh, Rutherford absorbed something and, uh, and, he, uh, and he gave some conclusion. Okay. So most of the alpha particles either passed strike through the cold foil um, or were scattered by only small angles of the order of a few degrees. This observation led to, uh, led to the conclusion that atom has a lot of empty space. Okay. So, this is a cold foil atom. 
when this is the alpha particles so the alpha particles enters into the atom okay so uh, here lot of MC, uh, empty phase is there okay so uh, uh, so the first observation is an atom has a lot of empty phase okay the second one is the whole of the positive charge was concentrated in a tiny space of about 10 to the power minus 14 meter this region of the atom was named as nucleus okay that means the center part of the atom is called the uh, nucleus okay so when the alpha particle uh, enter into the atom okay some uh, some uh, alpha particles are deflected okay uh, um, then some alpha particles entered into the uh, Enter through the uh, nucleus but not hit the nucleus okay so it maintains some uh, distance that distance is called the or not okay so the alpha particle does not touch the nucleus okay so it maintains some distance the distance is called the or not uh, or uh, we can say that uh, distance of closest approach okay so alpha particle directed towards the center of the nucleus will move close up to the distance or not okay on reaching the distance of the closest approach or not the kinetic energy of the particle appears as its potential energy okay that means uh, the um, alpha particle is moving so that means the kinetic energy is there okay so at a particular distance the distance is distance of closest approach the alpha particle stops okay they do not uh, touch the nucleus okay that uh, so uh, it begins as it begins as a potential energy so the kinetic energy of the particle appears as its potential energy so ep energy put ep means uh, potential energy and ek is kinetic energy so ep equal to ek okay now we consider let mass the uh, the, uh, the mass of the alpha particle is m and the velocity of alpha particle is v okay so uh, let mass m and v velocity of the alpha particle directed towards the center of the nucleus then we can write the distance of closest approach or not so or not equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon 4 is a d squared by m is squared here epsilon is the permittivity of split space then z is the atomic number okay then v is the velocity m is the mass of the alpha particle okay so uh, rutherford uh, finally rutherford atom model uh, gives um, atoms as a sphere of diameter 10 to the power minus 10 meter okay so we consider the atom as a sphere the sphere of the diameter is 10 to the power minus 10 meter and the diameter of the nucleus the center part of the atom is called the nucleus so the diameter of the nucleus is 10 to the power minus 40 meter okay so next one is the electrons um, the electrons in the atom were considered to be distributed around the nucleus in the empty space of the atom it uh, if the electrons were at rest they would be attracted and neutralized by the nucleus okay uh, that means if the electrons uh, were rest uh, rest means uh, it can't uh, move okay so uh, it is possible to be attracted or neutralized by the nucleus to overcome this uh, uh, this one Rutherford suggested that the electrons are revolving around the nucleus in circular orbits. So circular orbit means uh, uh, we need the centripetal force, isn't it? So that the centripetal force is provided by the electrostatic force of attraction between the electron and the nucleus because uh, that is uh, there is some uh, electrostatic force of attraction between electron and the nucleus. So um, the electron and the nucleus uh, can not attract each other okay uh, because of the electrostatic force of attraction as the atom is new electrically neutral the total positive charge of the nucleus is equal to the total negative charge of the electron that means the atom is a neutral one okay 
So the next one is the drawbacks of Rutherford atom model. So the Rutherford atom model offered serious difficulties as regard as the stability of the atom. Okay, uh, so it can. Uh, it does not explain the uh, stable uh, reason for the stability of the atom okay uh, so that's all friends thank you